What's up there, good peoples? I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys really quickly about uh, a mistake that I know a lot of uh, investors make, um, mostly first timers or, you know, kind of newbie, but sometimes even those that, you know, have been doing it for a while. Um, and that is not adding certain things to your due diligence uh, when purchasing multifamily property, properties that, that have tenants in it, whether that's actually multifamily or single family, whatever. Um, but uh, properties that have um, tenants in it already when you purchase it, all right? Just to, some things that I want to talk to you about just to make sure that, that you are looking out and making sure that if you're not working with me, make sure that, that your agent is, uh, is asking for these things, all right? Um, so one, you definitely want to have the leases. I think that that, that should go uh, without saying, you know, you, you should definitely get a copy of the leases uh, when, when you're purchasing property. This way, you know what, what you are committing yourself to because um, once you purchase that property, you're committed to it. You're committed to it. Um, you're committed to the lease that the last landlord or the seller um, uh, signed. You're committed to that agreement, okay, with the tenant. All right, another thing is uh, estoppel statements. Estoppel statements, uh, basically, and I've talked about this before um, on my podcast and, you know, even here and YouTube and all that, um, but estoppel statements is basically, whereas the, the, the tenant, the current tenant, as well as the landlord are agreeing that these are the terms and conditions that, uh, for, for this tenancy. So, you know, um, the lease could say one thing, but what if after that, the landlord and the and the tenant have another agreement. Maybe they had an emailed agreement back and forth. All right. Um, you want to, to make sure that if there are those types of agreements, whether it be a verbal or emailed agreement or, you know, some other type of agreement that uh, that they signed, you want to make sure that you know about that. So in the estoppel statement um, that talks about uh, any agreements that, that were made, it talks about how much they put down for security deposit because you're going to have to pay that back to them. All right. Um, it, it talk, there's a bunch of things that that, that it uh, it talks about. Uh, so you definitely want to have an estoppel statement signed. Make sure, again, if you're not working with me, make sure that that you are that you ask your real estate agent to uh, to have the, um, the the seller as well as the tenant sign an estoppel statement. All right. Um, and again, that's signed by by both of them. So they're they're both agreeing. This is what what we've agreed to. Nothing more. Nothing less. All right. And then finally. Um, one thing that I usually ask for and I recommend other people ask for, even though I don't always get it, um, and that is bank statements, bank statements from the seller. All right. Um, so this just basically says this will let you know that, um, even though they might say I'm getting a thousand dollars a month, $2,000 a month or whatever, they, the landlord might say that, that the, uh, the tenant is caught up on time. The tenant may say that, that they're caught up, you know, with all payments on and they're on time and all that good stuff. But um, this will all be reflected in the in the landlord's bank statements. OK, um, so once again, you're not always going to get this because, you know, some certain landlords just like, no, I'm not giving my bank statements. It is what it is. All right. Uh, but you could also just say, listen, you can redact anything that you don't want, want me to see. All I want to see is the fact that the tenant is paying. I want to, to, be, to be able to see that you're making you're saying that the tenant is making uh, payments of a thousand dollars a month. I want to see this thousand dollars a month going into your bank account. All right. Um, so this is just due diligence. This is just due diligence 101, but I know that a lot of people don't do it, all right? Um, so I just want to put that out there. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, shoot me a DM. I'll answer any questions that you, that you might have. Thank you for your time. Make it a great day.